Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 218 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. We're sitting at 1741 and we find somebody immediately and we get the white pieces. Uh, I believe this is Romania. Nice. Okay. 1749. We get a Vienna game. So we're going to play the Max Lange Defense. A copycat. And then this is what people normally play. So we go d3 here, main lines to go here. So now we gotta go here so that there's never this, threatening forks and such. Just castles. I believe we'll just castle as well. And then we're gonna try and fight for this bishop. Now I'm surprised, yeah. A lot of people will play d5, but I think that's actually just a blunder. I mean. I think he has to take. I could be totally wrong though. And yeah, we're gonna take back with the knight and probably go for f5 or not. I mean, I can move the queen. Could just go here and then play f5. But I mean, let's just let's just play f3. We're gonna kick his bishop out. I'll probably go to h5. No, he wants a bishop trade. I don't really want to trade bishops. I could go here and then there's a fork. So you can't actually take. I don't really want to trade that bishop off. And then we're threatening to go bishop to g5. Okay, he just takes. I mean, I'm not going to take with the bishop, because I want to keep my bishop. Now my bishop is locked out. So maybe that wasn't the greatest decision. I'll go knight here. Then I'll probably have to go all the way back. Where he goes there, targeting the pawn. And I don't think I can actually hold on to that pawn, can I? But I can do this. So if I go here, takes takes he just captures back but here takes takes this is pinned so we'll be able to keep one of the pawns and we're threatening to damage his pawn structure so he'll have to play a passive move like knight to c8 if he wants to hold on to it or i guess he could go knight f5 but i'm wondering if okay he goes there i guess that's a move too not really so sure why i didn't think that was a move so i kind of want to play here try to open up another attacker so let's do that. I just want to open up this file, basically. It's probably not a great move. Goes there. Takes, takes, takes. Has to take like this. But then he's he's pretty solid there, I must say. And I could take like this. And then after takes, we have this. Discovered attack. He takes. Let's take here. Here, I think we just push, possibly. Push, and where does he go? He has to stay on that diagonal, or that, uh, he's got to stay on this file. Well, he can go elsewhere, but if he goes here, I'm going to go here, here. I mean, I want to play this anyways. Okay, gives a check. He could go here. I don't really want to do that. It doesn't look very appealing to me. So let's step the king over. I'm anticipating rook e8. Or there, yeah, that, that rook too. Also makes sense. So if I went here, does he have check, check? No, he doesn't. So I could go here. Don't mind this move. So let's hit the queen. He basically only has this square. Can't go here. So he only has this square. So I'm wondering if I can go here. Then what does he do? Let's go here. Let's keep hitting the queen. Let's try to develop with tempo. Here, I don't have this move because then this pawn falls. But I guess I would be threatening to take here and win a pawn, but I don't think that's worth it. Okay, he just goes all the way back. I gotta be very careful of the back rank, because if I move the queen, he does have a sacrifice. Let's see, let's go here. Probably not a great move. He can just hit my... Yeah, he can just hit it. i will probably play knight, knight f4. Yeah. Maybe a better move was bishop to b5. And I would have to have triple pawns. Almost. Yeah, he does go there. Yeah, so what I was just calculating was rook takes, king takes, check. But he has a very nice move there, which is just queen here, protected by the pawn. Now he's threatening to take. Uh, let's, let's see, let's go here. Let's hit this. Takes, 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 takes. That's kind of what I'm going for. Or he moves the rook. I would love to undouble my pawns and open up the the diagonal there for my bishop but it doesn't appear as if that's going to happen yeah so he, he goes there 
He wants to push. I'm thinking of this move. And like, if he tries to kick me away, then I get to go here. It also protects the pawn. So let's play this. Yeah, so he pushes. And I don't really want to take, but it does get rid of one of my weaknesses. So let's go ahead and take. This, I don't think is a good move. Can I go here first? I don't think so, because then he can just go back. Then he threatens to... He threatens the mate. Yeah, I think I just slide the bishop back. Slide the bishop back. I'm gonna be very careful of, of forks here. I don't know if that's a great move. What if I go here now? Or I could bring my queen and have eyes on this pawn. I go here, he can't move this. It's an idea. Could also just push right away. Here takes takes. This has to move somewhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna push. Okay, takes. So this was the idea. Hits me there. Could threaten mate first. So I think I'm gonna threaten mate, and then we'll move this. We could even go here and really lock this together. I'm not so sure that that's really the best move though. I really need to play like h3 or something. Queen there does protect and hits the pawn. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just gonna place my bishop here. He's definitely gonna double up. I'll just play here. Mm. He might be playing for some some tricky stuff. With it's going after my weakness. Understandable. This is pinned. I almost blundered mate. Almost, almost. Uh, I didn't. That's key. I'm thinking we just protect, to be honest. Just protect it. I will feel so much better once I get to play h3 if he allows me to. Yeah, this was the trickiness that I thought he was going to go for. So if I go here, he has check. Actually, he's threatening check here anyways. So I think I have to go here, which is actually very annoying. We'll just move the queen. No, he's threatening, he's threatening this. But then my queen's getting a little bit stuck, is it not? Or my rook's getting a little bit stuck. Can't go here because check, obviously. He's, that's the main threat. I'll stop the check. Now, I'm, I'm very scared that this is going to get trapped. Ooh, he's got a very nice move here. Rook b3. Rook takes. And he's, he's really just hammering me because of my back rank here. So takes, check, takes, check here, and then check, check here. Mate. So I think I need to go here. He's still threatening check. I need, I desperately need h3. It's just, it's a big problem. Yeah, then I have to move my rook again because I can't take. I guess I could go protect. That's so passive though. And then he just wins a piece. Or he wins an exchange. Plus he's already up a pawn. He should be able to find that. Yeah, there it is. Um, I have to take. Well played to my opponent. It's not over until it's over. So I could go here and protect. But that doesn't look very good. Yeah. Da -da 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 I guess let's bring this back. He'll probably just trade. And this is why if you have back rank problems, you need to deal with it. I kept putting it off and off and off. But I mean, really, like, when did I, did I have a chance? Yeah, maybe here. Maybe I needed to just do this. Instead of going ahead, yes, like threatening checkmate, which is just easily stopped. And then from that point on, I was just constantly dealing with back rank threats and lost a piece. Or lost an exchange, I should say. So It was because I wasn't thinking of his plans, I was only thinking of how I'm going to attack him. And how I'm going to put pressure on him. But I wasn't thinking of... What's he going to do to me? And uh, yeah, that's how you lose games. I don't know why he's not just taking. He's up three points of material. A pawn and an exchange. I mean, maybe he goes here. Yeah, so just take. Now I have to try and defend this. Which doesn't seem very possible. All right, he's just going just gonna to go ahead and pin me. I mean, I have to block it. He'll go here. And then I have this move, but it's still, it's still just GG's. He could blunder. Ah, uh, no, I can't even go here because this. What am I doing? This was not even a threat. Uh, oh, wow. Yes, of course. Because my back rank. We're just going to resign. Yeah, our back rank was just way too, too exposed. My opponent played with a 93. I played with an 83. Um... 
So all of this was pretty good. We jumped in, we took, everything's equal. It's a mistake, but I missed something. So take there. I just did it in kind of a different order. And then from move 17, my king was just always exposed to back rank mate. And I guess this is all fine, but here is when I kind of needed to do something, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we just got steamrolled after that. Uh, he had a 2350 performance elo versus my 1950. Let's play a second game. Okay, we get the black pieces against a 1800. And we actually have played this guy before. And it looks like we beat him. No, we lost. We lost pretty badly. He plays d4. Let's go d5. Does he play? Probably London. No, Queen's Gambit. So I'm assuming that this is exactly how our last game went. Yeah, he, he knows what he's doing. a3. A5. Now he's striking here. So let's go ahead and pin this. So takes is fine, right? Takes, we're threatening this. Takes, takes here. Let's take. And then let's take here. We gotta be careful of this check. We always get in trouble with that check. Like always. And I guess he can take here. Yeah. I think, like, I have games that always go like this, don't I? You never learn. I'm a little bit afraid of this check now, to be honest with you. Check. Yeah, he just picks up a rook that way. Let's go here. Yeah, not good. And we can't even play this. We can't take. Okay, so luckily he misses that. So I think I'm going to take now. Is that a good move, though? My king is very, very exposed. But I can always block here. But if he takes with the f-pawn, we might have potential checks. Yeah. He's not going to take with the f-pawn. Rook here. Is that an idea? It's an idea. Does it work? I don't know. Rook takes. What does he play? Probably just castles. Because my king's just in the center of the board. Maybe we just develop. Nah, I want to take the pawn. Let's take the pawn and get forked. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, but I can go here. Or I can offer a queen trade. Let's go here. No more forky fork. Castles. Oh, I'm very, very scared. Very, very scared. Rook here. Rook e1, bishop e7, castles. But I'm also looking at stuff like this because takes, takes, check. And we get in. It's always very nice. Yeah, now he, now he goes there. So maybe now I go here so he can't really do too much. But here, what if he goes queen back? So this is just like so out of play. You can develop with tempo. Maybe I just go all the way back to the back rank. Or you could sack the rook. Go here. If takes, takes. Probably just does that. But then we come in. Gives him a move. I think we just go all the way back. I think this is our best bet. It's very ugly, but I mean, we can't take with that. Okay, maybe now we just take with the pawn. We can take with the queen, but the problem is that this is always pinned. But we are actually hitting this. Which is nice. Maybe he blunders a rook. Okay, let's go here. Nope, no blunder of a rook. So I think I'm just gonna protect here, like this. So that I can castle. He's probably gonna play this. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just getting slaughtered. It is very, very annoying. Here, he goes here. I don't want to jump into into this. I mean, he's gonna go here next, which just applies more pressure. But if I go here, he goes here. Then I have to come back. And then he can just come in. So I don't really know where to go. Maybe here. Once again, there's just this. I don't know. I guess let's just play here. He's just gonna attack me. I have to go here. I'm just gonna get trapped. It's just all that's gonna happen. And we can never go here because now there's discovery attacks. Ooh, I want to scream. Okay, what does that do? So now the bishop's unprotected. Yes, of course. And he's attacking this. King over? I don't know. This is just a fork. I don't want to play this move. That looks like the worst move there ever could be. 
So I'm thinking here. Because if I can trade queens, like, I'll be very, very satisfied. But, I mean, I have to go this way. And then he's going to move, and then there's a fork on this. Oh, there's a fork anyways. What am I... What is happening here? That's just mate in one. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. Now this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Bro, this is he's being way too greedy. But I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. This sucks. <laughs> nice. Good job. Good job. You're so great. Let's go here. He's going to bring this in. Or he's going to go there. And no matter where I go, just not good. Here, he's just going to go here. No, because this is hit. Here. Oh, all right. This is pinned. What am I going on about? Oh, why did I play today? All right. Time to resign. Thanks. What a terrible played game. I didn't want to post this, but in, you know how it is. We played with a 67. He played with an 86. So taking the pawn is just a mistake. Because this is just terrible for black. And then this is even worse. It's a miss. Yeah, because he just had that. Um, this guy straight up just missed Maiden 1 here as well. But pff, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so what to take from this? Go here trade we don't take the pawn what do we do protect we need it yeah because our biggest problem was that we weren't castled and then we got kind of greedy and took the pawn allowing a fork this also wasn't great so i should have offered a queen trade but this is still a thing but i guess if takes takes and then we're kind of fine all right well that is what it is if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.